WDTN Channel 2 Dayton Springfield now begins its broadcast day. WDTN Dayton Springfield. From the Miami Valley's number one early news, Jack Hicks, Donna Jordan, Chief Meteorologist Carl Nichols, and Sports Director Omar Williams. This is 2 News at 530. WDTN Channel 2. Here the Miami Valley turns for news and information. Marsha Bonhart, Meteorologist Brian Davis, and Sports Director Omar Williams. This is 2 News at 2. Good afternoon, I'm Marsha Bonhart. Turn to WDTM Channel 2, news that hits home, with Jack Hicks, Donna Jordan, Chief Meteorologist Carl Nichols, and sports with Mark Viviano. This is 2 News Tonight. A Dayton shop owner arrested. The FBI has linked him with a notorious terrorist group. Good evening. Who would have ever thought that a... Right now, 2 News brings you total news coverage. Live. With Mark Allen, Molly Hughes, and Total Weather with Carl Nichols, you're watching 2 News at 5. And hey, welcome back. You know, Total News coverage, live with Carl Day, Marsha Bonhart, Total Weather with Carl Nichols, and 2 Sports with Mitch Roberts. You're watching 2 News at 5.30. And thanks for staying with us. Our top story tonight, a cataract. Right now, 2 News brings you total news coverage. This is 2 News at 6. New information tonight. Some Miami Valley residents might find their mailboxes empty today. We'll tell you what happened. An update tonight. Getting your car through the e-check process just got a bit easier. And our top story tonight, the heat and humidity are here again today. Are we doing enough to send away the smog? Good evening and thanks for staying with us. I'm Molly Hughes. And I'm Carl Day. Mark is off tonight. The Miami Valley Ozone Action Day notice has just been extended. Right now, 2 News brings you total news coverage. This is 2 News at 11. Continuing coverage. A jury recommends the death penalty for David Lee Myers. An update as University of Dayton students hold a memorial mass for one of their own. And our top story, state troopers are resuming breath testing of drunken driving suspects. And good evening. We thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Marcella Raymond. The State Highway Patrol is once again using breathalyzers to test drunk driving suspects. Now just ahead on 2 News, one Miami Valley community meets to discuss racial problems and a young child is rescued from horrible conditions. 2 News Saturday starts now. WDTN Dayton Springfield. Right now, 2 News brings you total news coverage. This is 2 News. New information, a young girl is rescued from a crack house. You won't believe the conditions police say the child has endured. Continuing coverage, taxpayers have complained about the tax man for years. Now the IRS admits some taxpayers' rights have been violated. But first, our top story. Members of a Miami Valley community say there are racial problems with the police in their town. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Underwood. Dave Bowman has the night off. We'll have that top story in just a moment. But first, national statistics show the unemployment. WDTN, Dayton Springfield. Live at noon. This is 2 News, your weather authority. George W. Bush is all set to campaign at... WDTN, 2 News starts right now. Right now on 2 News at 11, dive teams find the body of a missing Butler County man in a backyard pond. And good evening, Miami Valley. That drowning happened behind a home about one mile southwest of Oxford. Witnesses say the victim was swimming. In First, fair, accurate. Live from WDTM, this is 2 News First at 5. Hello, Miami Valley. A frightening outcome. 
From WDTN, Dayton's NBC, this is Two News First at Sunrise. A man is dead after local sheriff's deputies open fire. We will have details on that story coming up in just a few minutes. Are they coming to us? I don't know. Oh, hi. I'm hey. There we are. <laughs> Karen, Danny. Oh, watch hey, out, there. I got a tailwind tail going. Winners. Be careful of that head. Hey, we're out in the parking lot of WTN. Let me try that again. WTN, I got a tailwind going. Watch out. And we're celebrating the big switch to NBC. Oh, Look at the folks that showed up already. Hi, guys. Hey. Hey. Not only here to say hi, they're picking up free stuff today. We, it's party all morning long. Bookers be live at sunrise with Ronald McDonald with a chicken head. It's coming up. <laughs> Man, oh, that is Luke. that is one thing he does not need today is a tailwind with that outfit yeah. on. From WDTM, Dayton's NBC, this is 2 News First at 5. Drug agents sweep across the Miami Valley, busting drug houses and making several arrests. And good afternoon. I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Colleen Sullivan. Undercover agents crack down on meth. Police raided homes in Dayton, Fairborn, Huber Heights, Granis, and Ada. From WDTF, Dayton's NBC, this is 2 News at 5 with breaking news. And there was a fight here, fight there, fight here. There was fights everywhere. Right now, it's the baseball brawl making national headlines. Tempers flare and fists fly at the Dragons game. Police say a pitcher's rage turns a baseball into a weapon. And right now at 5, as the Dragons get ready to retake the field, the opposing team's pitcher sits in jail. Good evening. I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Michelle Kingsfield. He's accused of assault after throwing a baseball into the stands at Fifth Third Field and hitting a fan. Mike Shell live at the ballpark to begin tonight's triple team coverage of the base brawl. From WDTM, Dayton's NBC, this is 2 News at 5.30. Flames ripped through a Springfield home, and tonight investigators wonder if the fire had help getting started. Plus, scattered showers come down in the Miami Valley. We track them with the area's most powerful radar. An historic battle is gearing up beneath the Capitol Dome in Columbus. Good evening, Miami Valley. I'm Marsha Baumhart. And I'm Mike Schell. For the first time in 100 years, an elected state official could be forced out of office, impeached. I'm on your side with the controversy surrounding the state attorney general. Just get rid of it. From WDTM, the station that's on your side, this is 2 News Sunrise. From WDTM, the station that's on your side, this is 2 News at 6. From WDTM, the station that's on your side, this is 2 News at 10 on Dayton CW. The Springboro School District is in a fight to stay afloat. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. Tonight, a surprise move by one board member has put the brakes on getting that levy on the November ballot. Holly Samuels live with why he waited to voice his concern until tonight. Holly? Right now, the school... From WDTM, the station that's on your side, this is 2 News at 11. WDTN, the station that's on your side. This is 2 News with breaking news. Now at 7, three victims show up at local hospitals after an overnight shooting. We're sorting through the details of this case. And two more people arrested accused of those deadly terror attacks in Brussels. What we've learned about their roles, new at 7. From WDTN, the station that's working for you. This is 2 News Today. And we also have some breaking news we're going to get to about a house fire in Franklin. It's been a busy morning. I'm Brooke Moore. And I'm John Seibel. It's also good morning weather-wise, <laughs> although a little bit cold. We're going to see something we haven't seen in quite a while. Meteorologist Jamie DeRosick has more on that foreign substance in your forecast first. Good morning, Jamie. Now at 6, a wind chill advisory is on the way tonight. We have live team coverage as the wind chill values prepare to dip below zero. Plus, protecting yourself this holiday season, we're asking about an increase in break ins and what you can do to avoid becoming a victim. And a big day for a group of veterans in Montgomery County. Their graduation ceremony is what's working in Dayton tonight. From WDTN. 
the station that's working for you. This is 2 News at 6. First at 6, bitterly cold air is about to arrive here in the Miami Valley. We'll be under a wind chill advisory tonight, making already low temperatures feel even colder. Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis has a first look at our Storm Team 2 forecast. All right, well, thanks, Mark, Katie. And right now you're checking out Live Doppler 2 HD. It is completely dry across the Dayton area in the Miami Valley. Uh, taking a look, though, at the wind chill advisory that's in. From WDTN, the station that's working for you. This is 2 News at 10 on Dayton CW. And first here tonight at 10, three suspects are now in custody after a high-speed police chase through the streets of Dayton this afternoon. Tyler Yutska live with a new information at 10. Police are happy to announce that there were no injuries. Two news at 11 starts now. First at 11, nonstop rain hitting the Miami Valley, not stopping Metro Parks from holding their grand opening of the River Run. But conditions on the Great Miami River, not so great today. Two news reporter Ethan Fitzgerald live at Riverscape Metro Park. It's new at 11. Brooke, I was out here yesterday as they were setting up for the event today, and the water wasn't quite over the walkway across the Great Miami.